Virgin Mornings with What's Trending. And this is What's Trending right now. Social distancing rules could be remaining the exact same for at least three more months. Toronto, Toronto's medical officer of health, Dr. Eileen Davila, said yesterday during a pre- press conference that there's a good chance social distancing measures aimed at reducing the spread of COVID-19 may remain in place for up to 12 weeks. And it makes you go, oh, because let's be honest, that sounds kind of daunting, but it's something yeah. that we got to do. Yep. Uh, there's also several enhanced measures that include encouraging residents to stay home and only going outside to access health care. Shop for groceries only once a week and walk or walk pets or get exercise while maintaining physical distancing of at least two meters. So that's mm. up a little bit. So trying to increase the the, cha- or the, uh, the measures here, yeah. which is a yeah. good thing. Doug Ford says the essential business list could also get much shorter, saying we're going to do everything we can to reduce that list. That was at the press conference yesterday, promising further on information either today or tomorrow. Okay. Um, he made it clear that maintaining supply chains will be a top priority. Yeah. Now, the original list had 74 types of business operations in 19 different categories that were deemed essential. And they're saying things like construction might be uh, deemed not essential at this yeah. point. So like, like, like construction that's like, you know, unless it's on a water main or something, yeah. right? Where you need to do it. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. And people are streaming the absolute crap out of the office during yeah. the quarantine. So time spent on streaming platforms grew by 34% yeah. just over the first two weeks of the beginning of March, right? When everything kind of started mm-hmm. to kick into crazy gear. The office on Netflix has been streamed over 1.23 billion minutes. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my God. I, w- I found after we you know, found out the uh, twelve week thing yesterday. I, I was anxious, yeah, to be completely honest. And I was cooking some dinner, and I was, you know, just kind of in my head. And I put on the office. I brought over my laptop because I was like, "This will soothe me." It's yeah. very soothing. Netflix is doing a great job. Yeah. A lot of streaming platforms are yeah. doing a great job about getting good programs out there. Yeah. Like I know uh, they just added Community too, which if you haven't watched Community, is another delightful show. I have to throw this out there. Yeah. Okay, so I just you, you you said a billion minutes, yeah. or a couple billion minutes, right? Yeah. There's only five hundred thousand minutes in a year yeah so that means that there's probably it's probably like every every minute that passes netflix minutes on that are probably like in the hundreds of thousands this yeah. math stresses me crazy. out wow it's insane wow crazy yeah it's when you nuts. actually break it down which yeah. i can't because i almost failed math <laughs> a bunch of times it's nuts. it's nuts anyway wow yeah good for us we yeah. did it we did it we did it and my math teacher in grade 11 is going wow why couldn't you have brought that to my class <laughs> <laughs> that's a trending of tj thanks tj okay it's princess margaret home lottery day and this means helping out in a different way this means helping out people that have gone through a really tough time that had, you know, they had no control over. And what's amazing is that there's so much in it for you. For instance, a $1.6 million Upper Beaches Grand Prize, which includes a show home and cash. It's yes. a two, almost 2,000 square foot show home, fully furnished, professionally decorated, plus $25,000 cash. Just going to give you twenty five grand. Not bad. All you need to do is go to princessmargaretlotto.com or call 1-866-631-1234. It's Adam Wilde. TJ and Jax on 99.9 Virgin Radio with the weekend. Just, you know, some of the best stories that we could find to balance out all this tough stuff that we're going through right now. And I'm going to kick us off today with a little shout out to Taylor Swift, who is paying the salaries and health care costs for employees of a Nashville record store. So uh, the record store had been worried about being able to support its employees who are now out of work because obviously everything's closing down. And thankfully, uh, Taylor Swift heard about it offered financial support, and is graciously paying each employee their salary, as well as covering three months' worth of health care costs. And they said, we were very surprised, and uh, we're very amazed hey. that Taylor Swift would reach out and do that and offer us some release during the COVID pandemic. We didn't even know she was. we were on her radar, but she really stepped up after the recent tornado Sweet struck honey. Nashville, and now this. Wow. Pretty amazing. I love her. Amazing. You know, people, Sometimes. And it's funny, every time Taylor Swift does something good, people are like, meh. About it. Yeah. And the thing is, is like when when Kesha was going through what she was going through with Dr. Luke, yeah. Taylor Swift donated $250,000 for her legal yes. costs. Yeah. And people were like, yeah, well, not all of us have the money to do that. How about you just be ex- excited that Taylor Swift and some, who no, has the money Adam, she does steps up and does something nice? The world doesn't work like oh that. Oh, my God. Stop being so woke. Relax yeah. a little. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Good news. It's good okay, news. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sounds like it. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Jax. Well, if you need something soothing and beautiful at the same time, uh, there is a video online right now narrated by Sir David Attenborough of the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah, and he's taking you on a whole tour, and I watched some of it last night, and it was just 
Mwah, it was magnificent. It, it soothed my nerves, and it's scary down there, but also beautiful. Yeah. He's yeah. my great uncle, eh? No, he's not. <laughs> I want him to be. <laughs> TJ, what's up? With, what's your story? Ontario just received a donation of over six hundred thousand pieces of personal protective equipment, or yeah. PPE, if you will. Hospitals across the province and the world have been scrambling to try and find things like masks and gowns and face shields and gloves and all these things. And Bruce Power, which is an electricity company, uh, donated over 600,000 pieces of PPE Incredible. to the province. That is amazing. And it's going to be needed because they're yes. talking like the next the next two weeks, is it's just going to be tough. There's, it's going to be really tough. There's been really bad reports out there saying that some, some medical staff have been told, like, you're just going to have to wear them to the point of where they're completely soiled. Like, wow. It's, yeah, it's really scary. <sighs> Producer Jesse. I want to shout out Canadian greeting card company Mark It Proud because they're sending free personalized greeting cards to frontline workers. Oh. So you just go to their website, and then if you have a frontline worker you want to shout out to, you just oh, pick out I a card, that. DM them, and they'll just send it for free to that frontline worker. Oh, I love that. Yes, yeah. what a great idea. See, right? these are the things that we need to hear more about, right? So it's great. And we're going to do this again at 830, so you're going to hear more good news then. And if you've got a great news story happening in your area, Triple nine, double nine to Texas. We'd love to read it out. And if you've got somebody working the front lines, we'd like to honor them in just under an hour. Three month free subscription to Crave plus $100 in a food delivery service so they can kind of decompress. Just tell us their story at 999versionradio.ca or you can text us or you can call us, whatever it is you want, however you want to reach out to us. Frontline friends, that'll be at 7 o'clock. It's 99.9 Virgin Radio. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. You know what? It's tough getting your groceries right now and that's for the best, right? We obviously have to stay socially, or sorry, physically. Yeah. You know, a couple meters back from everybody. And yep. I completely understand that. It just means lining up or, you know, waiting a long time for your groceries to be delivered and eating literally everything in your fridge uh, because you got to make sure that you, you get through it all before you go out again and, you know, stand in the lineup. Now, McDonald's in Australia, which is one of their test markets, and fun fact, so is Canada, one of uh, the, the test markets. Um, yeah, huh. they are offering just a couple basics through their drive through you can just buy. So normally at McDonald's, you're buying burger, fries, you know, egg McMuffin, whatever. Filet of fish. Yeah. Chicken wrap. But if you're, ch you're chicken wrap, I and you're love, breakfast wrap too, aren't yeah, you? You I guys love. are both breakfast wrap Yeah, people. she got me on the breakfast wrap train. It's wrong. So good. Listen, traditional egg McMuffin, the greatest. But anyway, if you wanted to go to, in Australia, if you're running low on milk or on bread, and I believe they're considering maybe eggs as well eventually. No. If you need, like, the basics, you will be able to buy them through the drive-thru. It's crazy how you can do that, yet the McFlurry machine is always broken. <laughs> <laughs> can I get milk, eggs, always bread, broken. and a McFlurry? Uh, yeah. You can get all those no, things no, by the yeah, McFlurry. Yeah, exactly. What is with the McFlurry machines? They just never... Guys, I've never had a problem with the McFlurry machine. Wow. I always get the McFlurries when I need them. Maybe it's just you. Listen, <laughs> I do want to shout out the one I, at the uh, Port Union in Lawrence, uh, Scarborough, which is where I grew up. Yeah. And I just want to say that the McFlurry, the one time I had it where it wasn't broken, it was delicious. But I have not had it since. The one in the Sandalwood Plaza in Brampton. <laughs> shout out that one. He used to let me hang out in the parking lot all the time. That's where TJ met his girlfriend. DuPont Sam, and right? Duff is good to me. The DuPont, <laughs> DuPont and Duff? Is? DuPont and Duff is where I frequent. <laughs> so anyway, they, they're going to open this 24-7, which is kind of cool, too. So if you you, if you know, if you've got, there's a lot going on for people right now. There and sure is. So if you know, you put the kids to bed, one parent stays at home, and the other goes to McDonald's and grabs, you know, bread and milk and potentially eggs. That's mm -hmm. a huge deal, and I hope they roll that out here because I think it'd be a huge, huge help to everybody. Be a so, really good idea. Shout out McDonald for helping people out. It's 99.9 Virgin Radio. Virgin Radio. I'm gonna run this line I've been workshopping by you, okay? All right. If I went on to Virgin Radio and I said, "Yo, what up? I am checking in on Quarantine Radio from the North Side." Coming live for all the ladies and the, all the gents. What? Yeah. What would you say? I would say, is Adam okay? Is he having some sort of episode? <laughs> I would say what? <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, well, how come Drake can do it and and break records on his Instagram live? Because that's what he did. You guys look at him. We're, on, we're Okay, we're on Instagram live right now. Hi, everybody. And I said that, and it sounded super awkward. Drake did it, and yesterday, Drake broke a record for the most people watching an Instagram live ever. It's Drake, baby. He can't do any wrong. He can't. He, he, everything he touches is gold. Now I got a question for you guys. Yeah. If we did well on our Instagram live, yeah. would we be allowed to have shots on Instagram live? I think, regardless, if we do, we should just start having shots. Having on shots, Instagram. just why normalizing not? that. Yeah, yeah you think not? so? Yes. Really? I'm no actually surprised. On the internet, baby. See, I would have said no. Who's I would have thought gonna... maybe that would have reflected poorly upon the brand. Who's going to oh. stop us? Well, I guess you know who's winning Employee of the Year and who's not. Oh. Uh, but Drake, because he he beat the uh, the amount, uh, he actually was. Um, 
uh, he was drinking and doing some shots, and he said a glass of wine keeps the Rona away. That's not true. <laughs> not true. <laughs> That's not true. That's not. He Great should know better that it's called the Ronies, by the way. Yeah, the Ronies. Uh, he said after uh, after joining his stream because he was live viewers jumped from 140,000 to 310 thousand wow. viewers smashing taylor swift's previous record of 150,000 views which is a am- because drake has never ever ever gone live though that's right yeah, yeah that's why to put it in perspective by the way we're on instagram live right now on virgin radio toronto and we have 11 people yes that's so good. close second i would yeah. say i mean it's early though that's probably yeah, why that's yeah. what it is listen, that's probably why if you're one of those hardcore 11 thank you thank yeah. you so much we and listen you. Uh, it is princess margaret home lotto day so today guys uh we are we are asking you to buy tickets for one of the most incredible organizations in the city it's the princess margaret uh right. and and princess margaret lotto.com if you want to buy tickets you get available for one one for 100 three for 250 or five for 375 there is a 6.8 million dollar grand prize king city show home Kawartha lake brent cottage and five hundred thousand dollars cash <laughs> and if you go on our insta stories on virgin radio toronto on instagram you can see our favorite rooms in the uh in the grand prize show home including one that is a speakeasy. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, and you have to go through a hidden passage to get there. Oh, yeah. And so TJ wants to, what What you want to do? Invite people over and then and go then there hide. and drink. <laughs> so I'm being extroverted wow. while being introverted. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. TJ can go Instagram live doing shots from his speakeasy. It's 99.9 Virgin Radio. Social distancing rules could remain for at least three more months. This according to Toronto's Ooh. medical officer of health, Dr. Eileen Davila. It's in the press conference yesterday. There's a good chance that these social distancing measures aimed at reducing the spread of COVID-19 remain in place for up to 12 weeks. That is a long time. Yep. Mm-hmm. Makes a lot of sense that it would be, though. Uh, there, she also said that some more enhanced measures are going to start to be encouraged, s- such as staying home and only going outside to access health care. You only shop for groceries once a week. You only walk your pets to get exercise and while maintaining a physical distance of at least two meters, That's that right. type of stuff. Yeah. Doug Ford also said in a press conference yesterday that the essential business list could get much shorter, saying we're doing everything we can to reduce that list. Um, apparently, there's going to be more information coming in the next day or so. Um, he made it clear, though, that maintaining supply chains will be the top priority. Which makes sense. It does. The original list had 74 types of business operations in 19 categories that were deemed essential. And a lot of those things, people were somewhat like, oh, really? That? And um, so that will be adjusted. The one that I've read about a couple times is non-essential construction. So the building of like condos and buildings, that type of thing. Water yeah, renovations repairs. on homes, like yeah. not necessary right now. Yeah. yeah. So we'll keep you posted on that. And of course, this should come as no surprise that Justin Bieber has postponed the Canadian dates of his tour. He had an original stop scheduled at the Rogers Center here in the city on September 10th. So already looking ahead in September and he's already postponing so mm-hmm. it's scary mm-hmm. stuff man yeah absolutely that's what's trending him TJ well they're saying um, I know that they canceled all the permits in this in the city yesterday which includes the one for pride right up until June yeah. now that doesn't necessarily mean for people that uh, are watching sports that that could be finished because what they could do is stadiums without people if that if it yeah. came to that but I don't even think I don't think we're gonna get there by the end of June honestly I just think this is just something that um, we're gonna slowly creep our way back into work in a couple of months yeah. But, it, I, man, it's going to be a while. But if we are all responsible and follow the rules, it could be quicker. Could be quicker. Please. Let's make it quicker. Please. It'd be great. And this Stop is too Pride in August, okay? Please, yes. please, because there's nothing to do in August. Glitter <laughs> pants ready, baby. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's 99.9 Virgin Radio.